Hello there, grade 10s. In this lesson, we will discuss the meaning of negative exponents and show you how to convert a power with a negative exponent to a power with a positive exponent. We will also look at powers with zero as an exponent. Let's join Dumsani as he shows us how to deal with negative exponents. You still remember the law of division of powers. When we divide powers of the same base, let's say we have 3 to the power 7 divided by 3 to the power of 2. We subtract the exponents. So in this case, we'll have 3 to the power 7 minus 2, which will give us 3 to the power 5. But what if we have a number like this? 3 to the power 2 divided by 3 to the power of 7. The number in the denominator is a higher power of 3 than the number in the numerator. The law for division of powers with the same base still applies. So, now we have 3 to the power 2, take away 7, which will give us 3 to the power negative 5. But we prefer to write powers with positive exponents only. This makes it easier to solve exponential calculations. So how can we write 3 to negative 5 with a positive exponent? When we are working out how rules work, it is always useful to start by expanding the example. So in this case, we'll have 3 times 3 divided by 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 seven times. So we can cancel out to the top 3 into 3 it's 1 3 into 3 is also 1. So what we have 1 times 1 gives us 1 over how many 3's do we have at the bottom? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore it will be 3 to the power of 5. The first answer we got was 3 to the negative 5. The second answer we got was 1 divided by 3 to the power of 5. Both must be correct. So we can say that they are equal. It's time for a definition. Any number to a negative power will be the same as 1 divided by that number to a positive power. Let's take an example. 8 to a power minus 5 will be the same as 1 divided by 8 to the power of positive 5. Right. Let's move on to some calculations with negative exponents. Is there a difference between 2 to the negative 1 multiplied by 3 to the negative 1 and 2 to the negative 1 plus 3 to the negative 1? Right, here we're multiplying powers with negative exponents, whereas here we're adding powers with negative exponents. Remember what we just learned? Now, 2 to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 over 2 to the positive 1, which is the same as 1 over 2, multiplied by 3 to the power minus 1, which can also be written as 1 over 3 to the power positive 1, which is the same as 1 over 3. We are multiplying, therefore we can multiply the numerator with the numerator which gives us 1. Then we multiply the denominator with the denominator 2 times 3, which will give us 6. Whereas with your addition, we'll have 2 to the power minus 1, which can be written as 1 over 2 to the positive 1, which is the same as 1 over 2, plus 3 to the power minus 1 can also be written as 1 over 3 to the positive 1, which is the same as 1 over 3. In this case, we're not multiplying. 
we are adding. Therefore, we look for a lowest common denominator between 2 and 3. The lowest common denominator here will be the number 6. 2 goes how many times into 6? It goes 3 times. 3 times 1 will give us 3. Plus 3 into 6 goes twice. Then 2 times 1, that will give us 2. Add the 2, 3 plus 2 gives us 5 of our denominator of 6. Clearly, multiplying two powers gives us a very different answer from adding two powers. Remember that negative exponents are not negative numbers. The negative exponent belongs to a base which can either move to the denominator or to the numerator to become positive. Let's look at an example. Simplify and write with positive exponents. 3 times x to the power of negative 2 times y to the power of 3. Remember that all numbers have an exponent. If nothing is written in the exponent space, then the number is to the power of 1. 3 has an exponent of 1. The x has a negative exponent. So we can rewrite it with a positive exponent by taking the power to the denominator. The 3 and y cubed stays in the numerator as their powers are positive. So we got an answer of 3y cubed divided by x to the positive power of 2. Now let's join Dumsani as he looks at another example about how to deal with powers with 0 as an exponent. Simplify. 3 divided by 3 to a power minus 1. Do you have any idea what to do? Let us read it again. 3 divided by 3 to the power minus 1. How about writing it this way? 3 to the power 1 divided by 3 to the power minus 1. Remember our second law? It says if we're dividing powers with the same base, that means we can simply subtract the exponents. That will be the same as 3 to the power 1, negative and a negative, gives us a positive 1. So that will be the same as 3 to the power of 2, which is the same as 9. Well, I'm sure that you have a, a pretty good understanding of negative exponents. But what if the exponent is 0? What do you think is 3 to the power of 0? Is it 3? Is it 0 or is it 1? I'll show you how to solve this mystery. Right, first tell me what is 3 divided by 3? Yes, it is equals to 1. Remember 3 is the same as 3 to the power of 1 and that means that is the same as 3 to the power of 1. Let's apply our laws. Law of division. When we're dividing, we said we can subtract our exponents. Therefore, that will be the same as 3 to the power of 1 take away 1, which gives us 3 to the power of 0. Now let's look at this. 1 is the same as 3 to the power of 0. That means we can conclude and say 1 will be equals to 3 to the power of 0. And what about 0 to the power of 0? Well, 0 to the power of 0 will be the same as 0 to the power 1 divided by 0 to the power 1. But 0 divided by 0 is meaningless. Therefore, we can say that 0 to the power of 0 is meaningless. So any number to the power of 0 is 1. See if you can do this example. Simplify the exponential expression. 6 times x to the power of 0 times y to the power of negative 3 divided by 2 times x to the power of negative 2 times y. We know the 6 in the numerator can be written as a product of its prime factors. 
we'll replace the 6 with 2 times 3. x to the power of 0 has the value of 1. So let's replace that. The y in the denominator has a power of 1, so we can put it in. The 2 in the numerator will cancel with the 2 in the denominator. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. We now have the fraction 3 times y to the power of negative 3 over x to the negative 2 times y to the power of 1. Now that we've tackled the simple stuff, let's work with the negative exponents. y to the power of negative 3 can move to the denominator where it becomes y to the power of 3 x to the power of negative 2 moves to the numerator where it becomes x to the power of 2. So we get 3x squared in the numerator and y cubed times y in the denominator. Let's simplify further. In the denominator, we are multiplying two bases that are the same. So we can add the powers. We get 3x squared over y to the power 4. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the questions in the Exponents Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.